Hello and welcome back. So in this video I'm sharing a few tips on procedural shading in Odini 20. All the techniques shown here can be found as sample files on my Patreon. The first one is on how to assign random textures to the different apartments in this slum-like building. As you can see I already have a unique attribute for each apartment, but I just want to use three different textures so I need to divide it randomly as seen in this render. The first step is to promote the attribute to detail, set to maximum, this way I have the amount of iterations I need. Then in the wrangle I am running over numbers and the count will be the detail attribute we just created. Then I am saving the primitive numbers with the respective attribute using the find attribute val function. And for each one assigning a random value between 0 and 2 in this case, so 3 variations to a custom attribute named house texture and you can easily change the amount of variations and the seed. Now in Solaris I have three different textures to be assigned to the walls and using a material like switch node I can feed the attribute to the which input to assign the different textures based on the attribute. So now we can use a similar logic to assign a different room texture to each window interior geometry as you can see I am assigning a room map frame, just default settings, and in this wrangle running over each prim, assigning a random integer value between 0 and 2. In this case I only have 3 textures to use as an interior. In Solaris you can see that I have each texture divided into 3 different groups following the attribute we just created. Loading room P, tangent U and V, as in the last video, but this time using the room offset input with our attribute to pick different textures. And the way you do that is by loading different UDIM tiles, in this case I only add 3. Now this tip is not necessarily on procedural shading, but still I find it useful to organize our setup. As you can see I have different groups in these assets and need to target those groups to assign different materials. In Solaris we do have the different groups under the name attributes, but it's not loaded by default. So what you need to do is under import data, make sure you're importing the different subset groups, this way you can easily target them in our material assignment. Okay, this last one is on the experimental side, but still wanted to share it on how to create a leak map to use in shading. First I'm copying over a few deformed spheres that will be the base of our Vellum fluid, randomizing a bit the viscosity attribute, and then you can create a Vellum solver to run the seam. Assign a color to the fluid particles, and in a solver we can create a wet map using an attribute transfer. Then we can pick a frame and cache it, as we won't need the animation. Instead of subdividing our source geometry, we can just render this to a texture using the attribute import in COPS. As you can see, we have the slick texture over the base. And in Solaris, the easiest way to mix the texture in is by gaining down the base texture and mixing it with the original using the leaks mask as an input. I'm also adding a bit of noise, but that's about it. So yeah, hopefully you picked up a few tips and don't forget you can join my Patreon and get sample files along with exclusive tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.